ダダーン<笑> !How are you doing, you guys? Oh my gosh, I messed up. I just got back、well, all day long. I ministered today. I even didn't, couldn't have time. I couldn't have time to work. And all day long, I went to the prayer salon house and、uh, Billy Graham's son, you know, Frank, you know, Franklin, he came and dialed,、oh, like 5,000, maybe 1, 10,000 people came. And,、um, yeah, it was awesome. And, Yeah, it's just major breakthrough happened among the, this, you know,、uh, leadership, especially house of prayer team. And I'm just so super excited. You know, they were waiting, waiting, waiting for a long time, this breakthrough. And finally they got it. Oh my goodness. And、uh, whoever I pray this day, I just break through bang, bang, bang. It's just super excited to see,、uh, People like who waiting, waiting for a long time, just for major breakthrough. Just bam, bam, bam.、Uh, I'm just super excited.、Um, yeah. I, I'm just all day long prayed and then I hear you guys and then,、um, just,、uh, just talk about a little bit what is, you know, what is a shame.、Uh, we, A lot of people, when I pray, I'm, I'm,、uh, realize they have that shame. What they have that shame actually, uh, disturbing for healing. And,、uh, especially though, when I pray for weight loss, let's see, da, 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 da. shame, darling, my weight. So shame is like, uh, it's not our world anymore. And I just so, 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 um, I'm frustrating because when I pray for weight loss and people just feel shame, that actually disturbing for their healing and breakthrough. And this is a major issue. We have that shame to know why we have that, where they came from. Let's, let's find out their shame, where they from. We may think,、uh, you know, the word we hearing and some, something leg of, leg of things we will have, you know, bring the shame. But actually shame, the origin is not the、uh, something else. It's by sin. You know, you, 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 you remember when they, the Eve and, you know, Adam took that tree of the knowledge and evil and good.、Uh, Um, they, I opened, you know, and then they realized they're naked, you know. Who, who, who taught that? So God said, where are you? And then, oh, we're, we're hiding. Why are you hiding? Because you are naked. Who said you are naked? See? That's what God say, uh, the Genesis, right? So, you know, God didn't create the, any shame. We not supposed to have this shame at all. But the shame where they came from, when they When they took the tree of the knowledge and evil and good, their eyes opened. They just realized they're naked. Just they felt shame. So this,、um, and then, then what they have done for their shame things, they cover, they tried to cover them with the fig trees and they saw and then they covered. They made it by themselves. Themselves. They made it by themselves. And, For the, with the fig tree and they covered. And、uh, you see, that fig tree, do you think it can cover forever? Permanent? No, that's not permanent. That is just,、um, temporary, you know? So we all, we try to, you know, cover our shame. All things with success, successful job and money and, you know, Whatever it is, you know, even our gift, a ministry, even sometimes people like try to cover their shame, you know, with that stuff, you know, and,、um, that's temporary. They cannot cover our shame forever. But what happened? God came to them and then you, 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 you go to the word of God that the Genesis, God said, God, you know, God made the skin and then the God covered with that skin for the Adam and Eve. You see? They tried to cover the shame by fig tree, which is temporary, but God didn't rebuke them. The rather than they, he rebuked them and, and cursed them. Actually, he made the skin. 
and then he killed the lamb and made the skin which is permanent and he covered our shade. You know? So, do you see this picture? You see the two pictures? We are always trying to cover our shame with this temporary things. Right? But, but that's impossible. It's just temporary. We, we can cover with this successful and something like money and what, whatever we have, you know, ministry, even, you know, gift to. Some people like try to cover with gift to. That's not right. So that's all temporary. Only Jesus Christ. Only skin of the Jesus Christ. See, Jesus Christ's blood, you know. He became our lamb skin, and his skin covered our shame. You see? That's it's not the temporary. That's forever. So why do you feel shame if you are born again Christian? If you know, if you know your shame covered by blood of the Jesus, doesn't matter you are fat or you are poor, doesn't matter. You cannot have that feeling of the shame. You can't. So, why you still feel shame? Because you taking the tree of the knowledge and evil and good. Even though you're born again creature, if you take the tree, uh, tree of the knowledge and evil and good, not the tree of the life of who is Jesus Christ, upon your life, you feel shame. So, whenever you feel shame, you take the tree of life, then the shame, the feeling of the shame gonna go, go away. You know who you are. You will know who you are. You're the, you are the sons and daughter of God who never can have a shame in your life. Because Jesus took away your shame. Whether you are fat, whether you are poor, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. So are you still feel shame? Then you have to go to the tree of the, you know, tree of the life. If you still have that feeling, you feeling can, you healing or breakthrough cannot come, because you don't know who you are. There are all the people asking for prayer to me, and um, with that feeling, it's the major. Breakthrough cannot come. When I pray today, at a, this is leadership. Even leadership has that. Because we really need to have this deep realization of who we are. Hmm? So many people, even leadership, they don't know who they are. Then this major breakthrough cannot come. So we got to know God, Jesus, took away all our shame. His blood is enough to cover our shame. Because He became lamb of skin to cover our shame. He doesn't see us shamefully. He doesn't see us as His bride. He doesn't see us beautiful sons and daughters. We have His life in us. You see? You speak to yourself. I don't need this shame. Go to this shame, to devil. Devil brought this shame to me because he is a liar. And uh, you, this shame, what I'm feeling, you take back to you. The shame is belong to you, not belong to me. Because the blood of the Jesus covered my shame. So you take back. It belong to you. You speak right now. See? Why you depressed? 
Why the weight is so bothering you? It's, it's more than that just weight. If you feeling that shame by this weight, even though I pray for you, it will not happen. You have to know who you are, whether you're fat or not, who you are. God sees you beautifully. God sees you beautifully because He sees your inner being. He doesn't see our flesh outside. So you have to see yourself as His son and daughter. You have to see there is no shame in you because the blood of the Jesus is enough to cover your shame. It doesn't matter. It's not the matter of the, you're fat or not. You gotta know who you are. And you ask me pray for your weight loss. If you have that feeling, it's your major breakthrough will not take place. You have to first dealing with your emotion. You were feeling of the shame. If you still have that feeling of the shame, You are still taking the tree of the knowledge and evil and good. You are not taking the tree of the life. If you take the tree of life, you are feeling gone away. You just need more Jesus. You don't need weight loss right now. You need Jesus first. Then when you know who you are in Jesus, when you know you are the daughter of the God, your shame is gone away. Then weight loss breaks through. That's the first order. When I pray people who they are feeling of the shame will not take place. That's the, the weight loss. This is a secret of the, your breakthrough. You gotta know who you are. Your shame totally covered by blood of the Jesus. He became the skin of the lamb to cover you. You don't need to cover your shame by your some skinny body and, uh, you know, money and successful. You are just precious who you are. That's how God sees you. Because God paid the price for you. You get it? You get it? You gotta get it. If you don't get it, you go to the Lord tonight, asking to the Lord. What is this skin of the lamb? How you covered my shame? You gotta ask it. Then when you know who you are, your major breakthrough coming. You don't need chasing someone anointed. Anointing inside of you. You gotta know who you are. You gotta know who you are. You gotta know who you are. Beverly is very afraid of some people who know who they are. So Beverly keep lying, lying to you because he is afraid if you know who you are. So he keep lying to you. You are suck. You are worthless. Look at you what you have done. That's the devil, the voice. Blocking the voice of the devil. You blocking. You have authority. You can block in that voice. You can block in the voice. You can choose. Blocking. You don't have to listen to that. You don't have to hear to that. You can hear the word of God, not the voice of the devil. He is so afraid if you know who you are. So he's keep lying to you. The moment you, who, the moment you, who, who, you know who you are, you will kicking him out. So he's afraid for that. He keep try, trapping you. Because when you know who you are, his time is more limitation, close and close, close and close. With his judgment coming more closer, closer. He already judged, but his execution, his end time, more coming closer, closer. Because you, he knows you will t- kicking him out.